It was a ruthless war that pitted the North against the South. Four long years. More than half a million lost lives. In April 1865, General Robert E. Lee surrenders to the North. The Civil War is over. Or is it? It is not a dead issue. He was a good and godly man. This is politically charged racial politics. Go to hell. That's what they said to us. Almost a century and a half after Lee's surrender, the gunfire may be over, but the conflict is not. It's a conflict over what the past was and what the future should be. On one side, children of the Black Glory South. Right they say the Confederacy is a symbol of slavery. It should not be glorified. It was all about enslavement and that practice that brought so many dollars to so few people. On the other side, children of the White South. They want to celebrate a heritage they say is misunderstood. It is uh, uh, intellectually uh, dishonest, I think, to solely blame white Southerners for the evils of slavery. In recent months, the conflict has worked its way into the public eye. Outcry over the proposed stripping of the Lee mural. We urge every citizen to boycott this project. A racial slur stamped on the Lee monument. All of a sudden, bam. The Lee mural scorched by vandals. Outrage over Confederate History Month and nine students suspended for wearing Confederate t-shirts to school. One conflict after another, neither side giving an inch. It can only be detrimental as long as this keeps going, and it's got to it's got to come to an end. But how do we end it? How do we reconcile? I think that we are on the threshold of an age of reconciliation. Meet Dr. Everett Worthington, executive director for the worldwide campaign for forgiveness. Worthington says the key to ending the bickering is sensitivity to your fellow man, sensitivity to the horrors of slavery, sensitivity to thousands who gave their lives. It's not easy, but it just may end a community century and a half long conflict. That turns out to be really a key to changing those negative emotions that keep us mired in unforgiveness.